Well, good morning, good people. Mark Holmes here. And as always, I want to say thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report without you guys, as well as you ladies. You know that this literally does not work. You know, I am so blessed. You know, sitting here, I never in my life thought I could do this. I could not speak in public to save my life. I stuttered. I'm dyslexic. Still butcher everybody's names. And even though this is not my mama's basement, okay, th this is me and my wife's in the banks, okay? We still got another, you know, 12 years or so left to pay for this thing. But, but be that as it may, it, it's the three of us, um, it's basement. And being here, it's kind of cool. And it's fun because, you know, I get up in the morning. The first thing I do, of course, get my coffee. I see Joe Boo. I sit down here or if I'm at the Red Brick House and I, I figure out what I'm going to talk about in the morning and I upload the video Then I go about doing other stuff in the day. So while I was uploading. I was remembering I was trying to find this video um, about Kellen Moore hire and remembering. And this is, this is a key thing to remember, too, because so many times when something new is brought into you, everybody thinks it's going to be the savior. Think about the Eagles when they got Julio Jones. Oh, my God, we got Julio. Oh, shit, we got Julio. And Julio Jones hasn't busted a great for him. I think he got one touchdown catch in a, in a game to help him for one win. You know, and the same thing with Shaq Leonard. Oh, my God, we got Shaq Leonard. He's been an all-pro. He's oh, – and, and, it's not helping that defense. When Kellen Moore was hired with the Chargers, it was kind of like Giant fans were when Jason Garrett was hired. When Jason Garrett was hired with the Giants. I remember receiving, man, you know, Jason Garrett, man, that, that offense, man, they score a whole lot of points and stuff. Jason Garrett, he's a good coach in comparison to what they had. But they found out Jason Garrett, eh, eh. And I want you to look at this guy. This guy for the Chargers was so, the director's cut, shout out to you, director's cut, was so enamored with the idea of Kellen Moore being hired. Familiar but proven is what he called it. I just have to, I'm sorry, I, I don't mean to laugh. I don't mean to laugh, but... We kind of told y'all, everybody, the talking heads, the people, they kept saying, Kellen Moore, he's a genius. He's the next Kyle Shanahan, the McVay. He's that guy. And we kept saying, no, he's not. No, he's not. It was Dak. Just, just, I, I, I want you to listen to this. And, and what's even better is you start looking at the comments. Right, I'm so excited. I'm starting to stumble over my words and get ahead of myself. But let's just jump right into the first topic here. Familiar but proven. We're going to get you guys a little look inside of what to expect from Kellen Moore on the Chargers Ooh. with Justin Herbert and this wow. offense in particular. And I got to tell you, man, it's going to be good. So it's familiar good. but proven. Now, the first thing that I kind of ran through my mind is well, I think a lot of Chargers fans had this same opinion is that I don't know how much Kellen Moore moves the needle in terms of the Shanahan offense, the McVay tree offense. Offense. And in all honesty, it, it doesn't really do that. But instead, what it's going to be doing is featuring an offense that's kind of familiar to the Chargers. The Cowboys have ran, what, a West Coast offense the last three years, predominantly a passing offense as well. But you know what? I feel like it's a lot more balanced than that. We'll get into <laughs> that in just a second. Uh, just a second. Now, this is very keen to what the Chargers are already familiar with, right? Mm -hmm. We'll just say touches of the Lombardi foundation that's been laid down. But trust me when I say trust this me. This is vastly different, more creative. It's a proven <laughs> success. It's a very important difference to identify early when it comes to Kellen Moore, okay? And honestly, they're not going to keep anything of the Lombardi system that wasn't working, that Chargers fans are ripping their head or uh, ripping their, their hair out of their heads for last season. They're going to take what maybe was working and then heavily implement this Kellen Moore system that's been so successful with the Cowboys for many seasons now. You know what? As a matter of fact, in more 
Flores at last four seasons with the Cowboys as offensive coordinator, he has posted the second best offense in the entire league. <laughs> Just behind guess who? The Kansas City Chiefs. Yeah. If you guys haven't checked out this website, this is awesome. This really helps me out in terms of my homework in doing uh, research for these videos. Stat Muse right here. And this is, again, black and white, or I guess multicolored uh, statistics right here. Here are your top performing offenses in the last four seasons. There's your Kansas City Chiefs, followed by the Dallas Cowboys, man. If you guys want to dig just a little bit deeper into that, let's actually make this a, a tad big, be, a bit bigger right here. The cow or the Chiefs at 2,600 yards, just very closely followed behind by the Dallas Cowboys. Touchdowns at 225 for the Chiefs, very followed closely <laughs> behind by the Dallas Cowboys at 210. And the list goes on and on. Now, of course, how that translates to wins, well, the Cowboys are going to be the Cowboys, but at the same time, in terms of offensive production, this boost is going to be dramatic. And of course, you do see the Chargers already right here, but a lot of this has to do to translations for Justin Herbert in particular. Because if you take a look at a lot of the other statistics in terms of Justin Herbert, uh, red zone scoring, et cetera, et cetera, it was really, really bad for the Chargers the last several seasons. As a matter of fact, you'll just see down here 182 touchdowns resulting in the number four offense. So there's a lot of work to be done, but just already off the bat, the second best offense in the league over the past four seasons, I'll definitely take that. <laughs> we then get into a little bit more the nitty gritty here in 2019 Ooh. this team posted uh the sixth best offense in the league followed in 2020 by the 17th best offense and this was in a Dak Prescott injured season I think he only played a handful of games that year then you follow that up in 2021 with the first offense in the league the number one offense in the league and then this season the fourth best offense in the league so you know what I'm seeing here I'm seeing some consistency I'm seeing things that work yeah. a system that's being implemented that actually does something Okay, and it, it kind of begs the question, you know, why? Why did the Dallas Cowboys move on from this guy? I guess I'll talk a little bit more about that here in just a minute, but it felt like he was this lamb to the slaughter, right? This Somebody didn't age well. Sacrifice to the NFL gods in order to appease the Cowboys fans who lost during the 49ers in that uh, playoff oh, game. Boy. I think it was one that the Chargers are going to benefit from. Now, this offense really yeah. is the real deal, and Kellen Moore's resume is far more proven than any other candidate that we've covered so far. If a lot of you guys were wondering, well, the record, you know, why didn't we talk about this guy before? Well, it's because he wasn't available. He wasn't on the radar of a lot of Chargers fans because they were still in the playoffs. The Chargers, what they're doing different in terms of Kellen Moore as they've done in previous hirings, that they're known for poaching, let's say, unknown guys, quarterbacks, mm -hmm. coach, unknown young talent, hoping to strike some gold. And you know what? We end up missing a lot. Mm -hmm. And in Moore's mm -hmm. case, He's already a proven play caller, both on paper and on the field. The statistics follow this guy's name. The results follow this guy's name. He's probably the leader of one of the best offenses in football for the past, what, four seasons now. And it is proven, the second best okay, in the hell NFL. A drug. Now, some of you may be worried that we've taken on another Lombardi because, again, oh, there's, there's flashes in the pan shit. in terms of similarities here. But this offense... Be it oh, familiar is is one I assure you guys to celebrate as Chargers fans because again it is I, I, I'm I'm going to leave it right there but looking at some of the comments in there love this move I think uh, it's nice more will be on the sidelines we'll have a face to face conversation with Herbert during the game the last time we had that was a, was his rookie year Kellen Moore has now gone from offense with good weapons to an offense with great weapons I want to watch him work Kellen Moore was a gunslinger throughout his air, uh, through the air in Boise State. Stoked to see what he does with this offense. Kellen Moore is an excellent hire. The Cowboys made a mistake firing him because they need a scapegoat for Dak's decline. Moore will make Herbert an MVP within the next three years. I'm very excited to have Kellen Moore. Oh, my God. I won't lie. I had no idea the Cowboys parted ways with Kellen Moore and was totally surprised that we hired him. But I think he will be a home run hire for us, and this offense will be the spark we needed. I like seeing him on the field during the games as opposed to hibernating in the booth. I'm stoked about Moore. New fan here. I started watching Kellen in college. Oh, I, 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 I just It's wow. Just wow. That's, I, that's all I can say is wow. So, Chargers... Congratulations. Glad you got it. And um, there you have it. Sometimes we think we're getting something that's going to be great and game-changing to find out 
It's not what you thought it was. Or there's reasons behind why somebody was successful someplace else. We've seen this pattern over and over again where guys are playing great with the Dallas Cowboys. They get the credit. They go elsewhere. We find out that wasn't the reason. At some point, at some point, we have to stop looking and saying Kellen Moore is a genius or Jason Garrett is an incredible coach or that um, Randall Cobb is just an incredible receiver, that you know uh, Amari Cooper is the reason why Dak Prescott was successful. At some point, we have to look and say it's because Dak Prescott that all these other people are so successful. I'm Mark Holmes, and another case, and another person who everybody thought was the reason for Dak Prescott's success is failing miserably without him. Big third down, more manageable. Yeah. Here we go. Here we go. Yeah. Against CeeDee Lamb, this time CeeDee Lamb's in the ball. Peace out. <laughs>